we know that as we go down the group the halogens become more react um, uh, they become less reactive as oxidizing agents and more reactive as reducing agents the 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 higher the oxi the, the the higher the halogen is in the group the more uh, the, the greater its oxidizing ability the lower the halogen is in the group in the group the lower its oxidizing ability so if you look at if you look at this reaction we know that cl2 is more reactive than br2 chlorine is more reactive than br bromine which means chlorine is likely to oxidize the bromide ion because it wants to get reduced itself and that's why we get nacl and br2 so the bromine is oxidized from br negative to br2 but the chlorine is reduced from cl2 to cl negative so if i wanted to write the ionic equation for this reaction it would be cl2 plus 2br negative gives 2cl negative plus br2 so this shows that the chlorine is getting reduced and the bromine is getting oxidized because the oxidation number of chlorine decreases from 0 to minus 1 over here while the oxidation number of bromine increases from minus 1 to 0 over here so that that's why this is a redox reaction and we know that chlorine is acting as an oxidizing agent because it is oxidizing bromide and we know that bromide is acting as a reducing agent because it is reducing chlorine so now this is because chlorine is a stronger oxidizing agent than bromine however if we did the opposite which was by adding br2 to nacl then we would have no reaction because we know that bromine is a weaker oxidizing agent compared to chlorine and that's why br2 would not be would not be powerful enough to oxidize cl negative to cl2 and that's why we will have no reaction in this case so a more reactive halogen displaces a less reactive halogen from its salt solution uh, by its i mean from the salt solution of the less reactive halogen now how do we test for these halide ions like for example you, you are given a solution like nacl nabr nai any salt any salt solution and you don't and you know you don't know uh, which salt solution it exactly is which halide ion is present in it so in order to test the halide ion what you do is you add agno3 so actually this 3 should be in the subscript i forgot to put it in the subscript forgive me for that but we add agno3 acidified agno3 so what happens is that the ag plus ions from the agno3 they react with the halide ion which is x negative to give agx now agx is always a precipitate which means agcl agbr agi they all are precipitates so agcl is a white precipitate so if we see a white precipitate it means that cl negative ions are present in the solution uh agbr is a cream precipitate which means we, if we get a cream precipitate br negative ions were present in solution and agi is a yellow precipitate so if we get a yellow precipitate it means uh i negative which are iodide ions were present in solution now sometimes what happens is that it's very difficult to distinguish between the white colors and the cream colors because they are very close in, uh, like i still can't actually I say that this color is white and this color is cream no it's really difficult for uh, for for me to judge the color so what we do is that uh, to avoid this confusion we add dilute ammonia to the precipitate so once we have carried out this reaction after adding acidified agno3 once we have done that and when we get the precipitate which is agx then we add dilute nh3 dilute ammonia to the precipitate so in the case of agcl the precipitate will dissolve the precipitate will dissolve in the case of agcl and in the case of agbr the precipitate will not dissolve so that way if the precipitate dissolves i can say yes it was white because it's agcl and if the precipitate does not dissolve then i can say yes it was agbr because it is it, it it did not dissolve and because uh, agi has a completely different color it's not that difficult to observe but even with agbr is uh, or even with agi the precipitate will not dissolve when you add dilute uh, ammonia okay so if you add dilute ammonia only agcl dissolves and agbr will not dissolve agi will not dissolve only agcl will dissolve so you need to know that uh, the react you need to know about the reaction that takes place 
So it's actually AGCL plus 